Hey guys, it's Kerry. Lots of hungry animals at the zoo today. I really love the crocodiles. And the lemurs back getting into trouble again. The hippos need to cool off. They'll be going for a swim. We get to feed all the animals later. This is the Gower Bull. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. The American Bison. A Musk Ox. And a Yak. Sarah is going to help them get into their new enclosure. Musk Ox, American Bison, Gower Bull, and Yak. Next we have some unusual animals. An Armadillo. A giant tortoise. And it's young. Nine banded armadillo. They forage for meals by thrusting their snouts into loose soil and leaf litter and frantically digging in erratic patterns, stopping occasionally to dig up grubs, beetles, ants, termites, grasshoppers, whatever they can find, even worms. And here come the tiger family. This one's a Bengal tiger. There are four cubs all together. Tigers are more muscular in their hind legs and are capable of fighting standing up on their hind legs and have good leverage once reared up to both block and strike. With its big heavy paws with 10 centimeter claws. Now these are my favorites today. We've got a load of crocodiles. This is a Nile crocodile. We've got a white crocodile there. And these are just your ordinary everyday crocodiles. I think they want to get in the water. They can better tolerate salt water due to specialised salt glands for filtering out salt. Their webbed feet help propel them through the water and also allow them to make fast turns and sudden moves or initiate swimming. They love the water and love sunning themselves on the rocks. I'm going to show you what it looks like from above. The hippopotamus family has just arrived and I can see the lemurs hitched a ride. Hippo, with their eyes, ears and nostrils on the top of their head, they can hear, see and breathe while most of their body is underwater. Oh, the Nile crocodile is staring at those hippos. Cool off, they like to wallow in the water.
This one's hungry, but it's nearly time to feed the animals. Here's trouble. Sarah knows the lemma likes carrots, but unfortunately he takes off with them before she can secure him. We've got some beautiful antelope here. These are the giant sable antelopes. There's two of those. And this is the ibex with the long curved horns. And a Himalayan tar with a very shaggy warm coat. This is the male. And this one is the female, Himalayan tar and ibex. I'm going to feed them first. Look at those hungry hippos looking at them. I'll feed the hippos next, put them out of their misery. Here's the crocodiles, look out for those sharp teeth. I'm dropping fish in the water, they'll probably eat them later. Oh, he's got his now. And these two didn't waste any time either. Back in the water. I know the tigers will come down when they smell the food. Armadillo has bad eyesight and relies on sniffing and shuffling around in the dirt to get food. It likes insects and bugs. The giant tortoise is eating lots of green food today. So the gobble and yak are going first. The yak is on the right hand side. And here's the American bison. And the muskox joins in as well. Well that was another fun day at the zoo. I really love those crocodiles. And here we have the hippos, the giant sable antelope, the Himalayan tar and the ibex. And we all know these are tigers. And from the top we have the muskox, the American bison, the gobble and the yak, the giant tortoise and the armadillo. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.